All right, morning guys. Today we are doing the proof for geometric series sum formula. Now, if you remember the proof for the arithmetic series sum formula, we started out by writing that sum n is term one plus term two plus term three, and then it went all the way to term n in the last term. Now we, we are going to do a similar thing for this. I'm just quickly going to write on the two formulas that we have, because remember, there are two versions of this first form and we do actually have to be able to prove both in the question they will specify which one you have to prove and the first couple of lines of the is exactly exact the same it's just towards the end that we are going to change things up okay so i'll show you how to do that Okay, so those are the two versions of the geometric series and formulas. Okay, now, like we see in the arithmetic series formula, now remember, you have to write down the first pink line. It's just explanation. If you asked to find the sum of the 13 terms, you would do term one plus term two plus term three plus then you would add all the in-between term then, then you'd add term nine as the second last term and then term 10 is the last term now what we need to remember is that when we are working with geometric series some proof we obviously work with a geometric series so if we want to ex express each of these terms in terms of the formula we are going to be using this formula the geometric sequence or progression term formula so we need to remember we're doing gs so we are going to be proving these two formulas but this is the formula that we are going to be using within a proof to represent specific terms okay so this is now going to be the first line of proof we're going to write down that sum to n terms the sum to n terms is going to be one, two, three. Okay, so to term one, we all know is A. Plus to two, if we're now using this formula, is going to be A R to the two minus one, which is just one. So term two is going to A R. You can put a one in there if you want, and just leave, leave it as A R as well. Term C is going to be A R to the three minus one, which is A R to the power of two. If, if you want, you can write the next one just to see kind of the pattern. We didn't run write term four there, but obviously term four would come after term term three. So term four will be a r to the four minus one, so a r cubed. Okay, plus dot 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 plus. Now the last term, term ten in this example yeah, at the top. But now when we're doing sum to n in term, our last term is going to be term n, which which is this. so. This is our very last term. Our second last term is going to be term n minus 1, which is going to be a r to the n minus 1 minus 1. So second last term is going to be a r to the n n minus 2. And then the last term is going to be a r to the n minus 1. I'm just, I'm just going to write above each of these. This represents term 1. That is term 2. That is term 3 term four, this is term n, the last term, and then this is term n minus one, this is the last term. Okay, okay, now if you remember that in the other sum proofs that we did, we then said plus s, and then we then swap the order around. Now we're not going to do the same thing here. Now in our non line, we're going to say r times sn. So we're basically going, going to take this whole line, every single term that we had are going to multiply by R, each of them. So term, term one, A times R is A R plus term two times R. So A, A R times R is A R squared plus if we do A R squared times R, we can get A R cubed plus a r cubed times r is going to be a r to the four plus, and we would have all the in mean terms. Now here it gets a little more difficult, so I'll just show you on a separate piece of paper. We need, we need to multiply each of these terms r r as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do it on a separate piece of paper. Just ignore this. This is other homework. 
Okay, so if we have a r to the n minus two, and we are multiplying that by, by r, what I want you guys to notice is that, that we have two powers with the same bases. Now, now r has an exponent of one, right? So we have an a here that I'm just gonna rewrite, but, but then for the r, because we have the same bases, is we're gonna have to add those exponents. So we're gonna ask, have to say n minus two plus one n minus two plus one one all right and then we all know that a r n and we have negative two plus one one is going to be negative one okay so that is what we get when we take the second last term and we multiply it by r so, so here when we are doing this last term and, and times it by r we are getting a r to the n minus one Okay, okay, that we just calculated. And guys, do you notice that these two are the same? Okay, we're gonna discuss that now. We need to do this last, last application. We need to multiply this one by r. I'm just gonna show that, that calculation as, as well. We have a r to the n minus one times r, which we know is the same as r to the, to the power one. Again, we have the same base of, of r over here. So when we multiply that in particular, going to keep that same base of r but going to add the exponent so we're going to have n minus plus one plus one all right and when we do that we see that we're left with a and then in r tau of n and negative one one plus one is just a zero so this is what we get when we take our last term and we multiply by r so that that is going to give us a r to the power n and now, just like in the other proof, we're going to do the line. Rule off underneath this. Now, if you look at, at the two formulas that we are trying to prove, right? Both of the formulas have a minus in. There's a minus at the, the top and at the bottom in both of them. So that, that is what we're going to, to do. So we're going to take for the one proof, we're going to the first line minus the other line. For the other curve, we're going to take the bottom line minus the top line. Okay, so if we are wanting to do, let me just think quickly. I'm going to try to line it up here. So if we're doing this proof, we're going to have to say we're doing, okay, if, if I'm this, yeah, it's fine. Don't, don't, I don't have to line them up. I don't want to start at the bottom, bottom one first. Okay, never mind. Sorry about that, guys. Just follow what I'm now. Okay, for the one proof, we're going to say it's n minus r times s. s -n. Okay, so I'm taking the top line minus the bottom line. Now you guys see what's going to happen from here. We can simplify this a bit because there's a common factor of s n. All right, so I'm going to be able to take out s n which is going to leave me with one minus r, which is what I have over there. Okay, okay, I'll do just now. Let's just come back to this. If we're saying the line, the top line minus the bottom line, I want us to notice that there are certain terms that, that appear in both, both of these lines. So, so if we look at the top, top line, there's an a in the top line. Is there an a, a in the bottom line? No. So if I'm take, taking a and I'm minusing the terms from, from it, all right, there's no a that I can subtract from this. I'm going, going to shift with an a there, but look, look at what look at what's going to add to the next term. A r minus a r r. Remember, saying the top line minus the bottom line. If I say a r minus a r. Those those are going to come out. If I then say a r squared minus, there's also an a r squared in the second line. Though those are also going to cancel out. A r squared minus a r squared is zero. A r cubed minus a r cubed again is zero. Now, we didn't write AR to the 4, excuse me, in the top line, but there is an AR to the 4, right? It would just be the next one. It's here in the dot, 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 dot. So if I take AR to the 4 or mine, AR to the 4, I'm going to be left with 0 again. Then, then all of the terms in between the ones that are actually written are going to cancel out like that because we have an AR to the 5 and an AR to the 5. A to the six, six minus a r to the six, a r to the seven minus a r to the seven. So all of those terms are going to cancel each other out. What we are left with here, we just look at, look at a r to the n minus two. I hope that makes sense to you that there will also be 
an AR to N minus two in this dot, 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 dot. All right, so those ones will also come out. Then we see that we have an AR to the N minus minus one over here, minus this AR to the N minus one. Again, those will come out, the answer will be zero. But there is no AR to the N in the, in the line. Cancel out AR to the N in the bottom line. So basically, I'm going to be left with my A over there because there was, was no that I could cancel out here. And then remember, I'm, I'm minus the bottom line. So it's going to be minus what if from the bottom line, A, R to the N. So those will be, will be only two terms that will actually be left over when you take the top line and you subtract the, the bottom line from it. Now we're going to factorize on both sides of this equation. On this side, we're going to take out an A in. Remember when we take, take out and factor, we're dividing by that common factor. So I'm going to say this term divided by itself is one. And then minus, if I take this term and then I divide by SN, I'm going to be left with R. On the other side, this other thing is going to happen. I'm going to take out A as a common factor. I put my brackets there. If I have A and I now divide A by itself, I'm left with one minus, if I, if I have a whole term and I divide it by itself, or, or I divide by A rather, the A's are gonna cancel out. I'm gonna be left with R to the power of N. And now all that's left for us to do, remember we're going to get the formula for SN. So this, this bracket, I'm gonna have to move to the other side. I'm going to have to have divide whatever is there by that, that bracket. So I currently have a one, one minus r to the power of n on the side there. So that, that is going to be divided by this, this bracket, which is with one minus r. Okay, so they are asking you to prove the formula in this form, where you have a one minus r and a one, one minus r to the n n. You're going to have to take the top line minus the bottom line in order to do that proof. You'll set up this line exactly like we did it, we'll set up the second line by just multiplying each term by r. But then let's just remember for the one minus r proof, we're gonna take top line minus bottom line. For the other proof, for the r minus one proof, we're gonna do it the other way around. So if you, you have to have r minus one, you need to start with the r line. So we're going to take the bottom line minus the top line. Okay, so we're going to do the exact, exact thing. We're just going to start with the bottom line. So it's, it's easy to remember that when you have to start, your, if your proof is starting with the R, both of these brackets, then your proof has to start with the R. The R. Okay, if you're asked to prove this one, then you start with the R. Okay, now if we're taking this line minus that one, again, that term minus that, that one cancel out, that one minus that one is gonna be zero, that one minus that one is gonna be zero, all the in-between ones, that one as well, there's gonna be an AR to the N minus two here, that's gonna cancel out that one. We're gonna say this term minus that one is zero. We're gonna be left with AR to the N minus, remember now, now we take the bottom line, line minus the top line. So the ones that were left of will again be these two terms. But now because we're saying top minus bottom, we're going to say this one, AR to the N minus B. AR to the N minus A. Okay, we're going to, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take out SN as a con factor. I'm going to be left with R minus one. Then this time when I do that, when I divide both of those terms by SN. Here again, I'm going to take out A as a common factor. I'm going to be left with R to the N minus one. Then to get this N on its own, I'm going to take this, what I have on the right hand side and divide it all by R minus one. I'm going to have A bracket R to the N minus one over r minus one like that okay those are the two proofs just like i suggested when we did the theoretic series proof i would like you guys to just write these down a couple of times just you know to, to kind of solidify oh excuse me <clears throat> just to kind of solidify these proofs uh, so that you yeah so that you don't have to study them too, too intense before you do your test so yeah, that is the first thing that I, that I want you to do, please, is to just write proof out, out a couple of times. 
then I'm going to put homework for you on Google Classroom. Please read through or please check the Google Classroom page for the homework that, that you need to do. I'm going to upload the homework solutions from the work that you have on Friday. I will put that on Google Classroom as well. So you can mark this or this weekend's homework and then you can kind of get going around tomorrow's homework. I will be back tomorrow. So please, please sure that all of this is done for tomorrow. Thank you. Have a lovely day.